Welcome back to WS Channel, the wonderful world of seashells. Today, a short video about how to clean seashells. I've made a, a huge one, a very long one of like more than 45 minutes. So you can you can watch it uh, going on the channel. As you just just check the videos. And um, if you want to know everything about seashell cleaning, you just have to watch this one. But it's a very long one. If you just uh, want a few tips and a, like a short video on how to clean your seashell to get rid of the perostracum, especially on the cones, you can watch this video. So we have here some seashell I have to clean. You can see they are cones and they have the perostracum. So it's not really shiny. It doesn't look that 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 pretty cool you know this this uh, the perostracum is usually uh, uh, thin but it can be thick like uh, these ones and you can have crusted algae or corals um, this uh, the specimens need really to be clean before they really look quite nice so we're gonna use the bleach method we don't use any acid at all and um, and after we'll uh, we'll um, use uh, to finish like polish We'll use perfine oil, which is mineral oil. So let's start the video. We're gonna use bleach. So it's better to use strong bleach, but uh, if you have a low strength one that you have to wait longer, don't let your shell soak in the bleach for weeks. This is really stupid and it can uh, it can really damage your shell because the the concentration of the bleach may change especially if the 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 bath is uh, outside so we're putting the first one in, in inside the bleach bath now the conus archipis copus the conus bortolemi bleach is not very dangerous uh, though you have to to use gloves if you're not sure what you're doing and uh, if you get if you have a few bleach uh, uh, on I mean like uh, drop on on your on your skin you just have to wash your hands it's not uh, that dangerous but if you if you have uh, bleach in your eyes then you have to to rinse your eyes very quickly with uh, with water for a while and if you have any pain any trouble when while uh, looking I mean with your vision and then you have to to call and see a doctor really quickly so here is the bleach bath the Bartholemy is too big so it's not sucking the Bartholemy have um, already been uh, in a in the bleach bath yet that's why that's why you have only part of the perstrachum to get rid of Usually you, you just need this kind of instrument, so not a dozen of, a dozen of instruments. This is really easy to find and uh, this is dental surgeon uh, tool. So you can have your favorite dental surgeon doctor so he can maybe give you old ones. So we're going to wait now that the bleach bath is making its effect. So we're going to look at... Uh, in accelerated time so so you don't have to wait uh, 15 minutes or more so here we go again so the the bleach bath has ended this I let the shells soak roughly 15 to 20 minutes so we're gonna rinse the shells now the bleach has done its effects uh, uh, it seems yes so You have to take care of not breaking your shells. The best way is to pick up the shells like that. You know, then the bleach goes out. Or here is the Conus Crescenus. This is the Conus Usatella. A very nice fresh dead specimen. As you can see, it looks pretty cool 
it was looking really ugly before the bath. Connor's distance might need to soak longer or with a, a new bath because the peristrichum was really thick. There is Connor's episcopus. Let me get the the small Conus coronatus. The Conus. Sorry. Let me get the Conus catus with a fish killer. And this is a Conus. If we just be careful with the with the lip that still appears trichum so I'm gonna leave it a little longer so the archipiscopus which was from fresh dead that's what the leaves it already broken it's it's okay and the Bartholomew is quite good too it's nice it's pretty cool if you don't pick up the lip you don't risk anything with your with your shell so let's back again on the cleaning video so the conispus catus you can see have like coral or crusted algae and we need to remove this part you can see steel peristrichum you need to to make several baths the the kind of uh, distance is still in the in the bath so we're gonna break this so you can use like a piece of uh, uh, like steel like it's a dental instrument you just have to don't do it too hard uh, for don't, don't break your shell and it will be really stupid so the this is fragilizing the the stuff you don't risk anything you know this will not be, be careful be careful with the lips so always put your your skin under and do not do that on a hard you can see that the big ones the they're, they're going away you can see uh, the period strike come under the yellow part of the shell so you need more soaking after be careful to the lip I'm sure some of you say e this guy is French is quite mad but I'm not I mean I've done that for 20 years now so trust me you don't risk anything with this so let's go for the acceleration video so you've seen my work accelerated it was a real fight against the, the crusted coral it was a really difficult difficult work today very difficult job so you can see it's still it's still uh, you still have some concretions it's it's like 10 minutes of work I'm really quite tired and and my hands hurt a lot because it's very good to keep your cone without breaking the lips so but the, you can see now you can see now the spire pretty well and that's it you can handle that later it's not necessary to do all the work in one time you know you could damage your shell definitively so we're gonna soak this one again in its bleach bath to get rid of the pure striker So we're gonna wait and while we're waiting 
the two last species which is our which is in the bleach bath now let's handle the other wounds So we're gonna use paraffin oil, this is the French word, but in English it's called mineral oil. Very easy, just pick a, a piece of like tissue, you put that, you know, some shells are nat naturally glossy, you know, this is a a glossy species the conus catches but this will really protect the shell you can see a little hole there this shell been attacked by and could be a octopus or it could be also um, a murex this little coronatus conus episcopus mm, very nice fresh dead specimen this is my biggest Conus Horshi episcopus. Unfortunately, the lip was broken, and you can see a little piece of worms. But it was a nice find. This is my wife who found this one. The very rare and nice Conus Bortolemi. baby oil can be used too never forget that the oil will protect your shell so usually we do that once a year there is no need to oil naturally polished shell like quarries or uh, olives if your curry of your olives does not shine, does not look naturally polished, that means this is too late. So you get your fins, get your mask, your tuba, and go find another one. So you can see there was a, a white part there because it's an old dead one. I was so proud to find this one with the lip perfect lip freshly dead but I think it has died for a long time it could be months and this was attacked and the bleach bass removed the perestrikan and the and the mineral oil just just make the shell shine pretty well so you don't see it you don't need to use muriatic acid method i never used on my shells and i pre prefer to have the real shell like it was when i found it okay so this is quite enough of course you have to remove the extra If you have too much oil, just remove it. Your shells are really ready to go in your containers, your display containers. You can watch my other videos if you want to check a cheap method, cheap method to show and display your seashell and to protect them from the air dust sun rays etc so we're waiting now the two last specimens so we are back for the last one you know it's quite clean you have still some parts of peristrachium but you can just have to soak the, the shell for a few 15 minutes so for the for this for this shot for this movie we will stop there 
you're fed up to wait and me too so let's watch again our shells so you had fully fully encrusted seashells you had just some with Peter's tracking and we handled that pretty well we have cleaned all the seashells today and here are the results I hope you you enjoyed this uh, video please feel free to leave any comment give us a like and of course subscribe to our channel